Hey, it's uh, JCP once again, and uh, welcome back to the channel. And today I have a nice one for you the Warrior Can Tester Box. So, what does this do? This uh, basically helps you to um, diagnose, uh, to connect to the onboard diagnostics that is the OBD port, so that you can be able to uh, test for any errors in the ports on the ends for the ports or you test for a uh, reverse priority so it's a very important tool for reverse priority it will self um, damaging your diagnostic machine so you connect it to the LBB port before you can connect the diagnostic machine so before you connect um, this to the uh, to the cup this is our uh, current tester you connect it here and then you connect this to uh, the onboard diagnosis, the OBD port for the car. So when it's connected like this, this will uh, test for the reverse priority. There's any error, it will show it to you here before uh, you can connect the machine. So normally you'd want to first connect this alone, you plug it in, connect this alone, do the testing. We shall just do that and we see. It shows you uh, which pins are live and which ones are not. Okay, um, let's look at uh, how it comes in the box and what else is in the box. And then we we'll also do a, a light test. So, um, this is our oil can tester uh, box. So, out of the box, we have. Um, the wire can test itself. We have um, the pins. All these are pins you can be using for connecting to any of these. So on our uh, on our manual this is it's important that you read this so that you understand uh, what each of the pin does so you can see they're showing you we have um, the mail uh, out which you connect to maybe diagnostic machine we have the female which connects to the car and then we have uh, our can tester and the pins what I did mention earlier this um, will be to just to show you on the specs so here are the specs. It can do an input voltage of uh, 9 to 32 uh, VDC and a maximum load of 2 amps. Now, uh, according to the, the manufacturer, it can work well with uh, 12 volts and uh, uh, 24 volts. So it's important that you read this so that you understand um, everything about it. Just before we go to the testing, you can see when the light is green, means you're okay when the light is yellow it means uh, there's a constant voltage somewhere that is going through so meaning um, green no short circuit no reverse priority no constant voltage on uh, pins uh, 3 8 9 11 12 and 13 now what is important you need to know uh, which pins your car uses because uh, different cars have different pins for the manufacturer according to the manufacturer the pin which is constant for all of them is the power, the 16. Others, they, it's, uh, it's according to the vehicle. Now, when it's yellow, it means there's a constant voltage or the can bus variety error. So if you see that, meaning uh, it has detected a constant voltage. Now, a constant voltage can be, it indeed is required, there has to be a voltage there or not. But uh, it depends on the pins. So like I strongly recommend you need to know uh, which pins are for which purpose on the car that you're testing. So it's important that you read this so that it can help you understand um, how to use it. But let's go uh, use it on the car and then we'll see how it works. Okay, so we're here and uh, we have our, our oil can tester. Uh, we have uh, the female uh, pin out. This is a female socket, and the uh, the male uh, socket. 
So let's go ahead and uh, connect the female to the OBD port of the car. There's our OBD port there. Now just go ahead and connect it. Okay, so our, our can tester is connected. So you can see we are uh, we, like we mentioned here it shows it's okay now the lines which are active right now we have the chassis grids chassis grid and uh, signal grid these are uh, they always on for the battery of can lock can i these wheels which are blinking those are the data lines that this car uses it was k line but you would see this so this one how uses can and then six which is always powered so we have uh, two displays here for the pin and for the voltage right now it shows 16 is at uh, 12 volts, uh, 5 volt, volts now if you try to uh, if the more you press the more it changes so if i select i've selected one is zero there's no voltage two there's no voltage three no voltage four uh sorry six uh six shows you uh, there's a voltage of 3.7 that is a uh, uh, six is can high seven there's no voltage eight no voltage nine no voltage ten no voltage eleven no voltage twelve no voltage thirteen no voltage definitely fourteen there is that is 2.3 which is the can low this one here like that uh, 15 nothing then 16 which is the battery voltage Okay, so let's try to power the car and we'll see. It shows there's a constant voltage somewhere. So it is showing warning and now it shows can, can low is showing red, then OEM is showing red, such so means there's a voltage. When you power it, these they get live. So these two, I might need to check whether it's as per the manufacturer's design or uh, there's a short circuit somewhere for these two. I can go ahead and check the voltage on uh, 7 and 8. 7 has 8.7 .7 volts. It has 12.4.1, which is the OEM. Now OEM could be uh, by design, it has that. And, uh, and K-Line could be uh, functional, could be using the uh, means the car might be using some resources on the K-line side for reading data. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in the machine, the driver's machine and see. So this is our setup. When it shows green, it means uh, the power source is constant and it's okay. And the source is coming from this side. Okay. So it's 12 volts. Okay, now the VCI is connected. In brief, uh, basically that's how it works. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, have you used it? Uh, what challenges have you had? Did it work for you? Or oh, you don't see a need for it? Uh, yeah, comment. Uh, give me your comments. Uh, let's see what you think. All right, thank you.